Okay, this is Cameron Ross for Jess. This is the 26-year-old that shot himself at the front gate of the uh, White House. And I think these stories are always worth follow-up. Um, everybody who's got a young son, including myself, wonders why someone goes to the White House gate and shoots themselves. It just doesn't seem, uh, it doesn't seem like a normal activity for a 26-year-old. And usually there's something else going on. Now, I had a chance to talk with his roommate that they talk about here. And this, he mentions he likes to go to the beach, watch movies, play video games, just like every other normal 26-year-old. So uh, when uh, his friend, uh, Nathan, uh, Justin Ford, Justin Ford, I, I talked to him on the phone, I, I just followed up and said, you know, how about his job? You know, were you familiar with anything uh, about his job and he had uh, known that he was in this involved with this University of Florida child protection team um, and then this is from the Department of Pediatrics which is at the medical school there at the US uh, University of Florida College of Medicine and if you just read on their website um, it's this multidisciplinary team for assessment services for child uh, children suspected of being abused or neglected. Well, this really begs the question, what the heck? That sounds like enforcement. To me, that sounds like children and family services to me. So it almost sounds like a paralegal type enforcement. And again, here is the situation where there's a team of people. There's a task force of people. So it just doesn't seem that uh, independent group like this that's really tasked to do health should be doing enforcement. Just something doesn't seem quite right about that. And it seems like a mandate not given uh, to a medical college. And it reminds me very much of the situation in Parkland where we have 17 kids that are killed and 39 messages to various uh, police forces and so forth and no activity. Yet we have the resources for the, at the state level, to go and create these multi-task forces for this almost what could be considered a team to justify the, uh, I'm not going to say snatching of children, but justify the taking of children away from their parents. So it, it just seems like more attention should be focused on the shooters, and again, or the opioid crisis where you have 170 kids a day dying of uh, opiate overdose. And of course, the final question is why come all the way from Florida to Washington, D.C. to commit suicide if you weren't trying to get a message through to someone?